One of the things that makes New Braunfels such an attractive place to live is that we're in between two very large cities, San Antonio and Austin, but you don't have to live there, you don't have to pay taxes there. You can live in this nice town called New Braunfels, which you've probably never heard of. But don't think developers have never heard of New Braunfels because they have, especially residential developers in the last 10 years, more pronounced in the last two years. And today we're at one of those developments, brand new, so brand new that Look guys, this is all it is right now. It's just dirt. Mayfair, North New Braunfels. We've talked about Mayfair a number of times briefly in our other videos, but today we're giving you all the details, guys. Everything that's coming here in this 15 year master plan community, all the homes, all the shops, all the parks, all the restaurants, all the trails, even mountain bike trails. As we said, Mayfair is located north New Braunfels, really on the outskirts of New Braunfels. It straddles both sides of Interstate 35. We're close to big box shopping, movies, restaurants, grocery shopping, and we're not too far off from our historic district of Green, that quaint, charming, cute little town, all the live music, the restaurants, and all the shops. And we're not too far either from downtown New Braunfels, and all of our great city amenities. And as I said off the top, Mayfair is conveniently located between Austin and San Antonio. Mayfair being North New Braunfels actually makes it more convenient for Austin area families who want to move to New Braunfels yet still want to commute to Austin. And we are seeing a lot more Austin area families move to New Braunfels, especially the last 14, 16 months because they're just being priced out of their own town. So the developer for Mayfair is the same one for Vintage Oaks, one of our hill country communities in New Braunfels. The amenities and energy there are second to none. So expect that same vibe here at Mayfair. All right, so what's coming to Mayfair? Let's talk about that right now. Mayfair is gonna be real similar to our, really our first and premier master plan community called Veramindi, now in its fourth year of building. Like Veramindi, Mayfair will have a mix of single family homes, apartments, townhomes. Like Veramindi, there will be hundreds of acres of public park space at Mayfair. So Mayfair is gonna have two new elementary schools, a brand new middle school and a brand new high school, guys. This is great because developers are picking up on this. Wherever there's new residential development, shops and schools, new schools are quick to follow and developers are really taking advantage of our Texas New Braunfels ultra active outdoor lifestyle when they build these new communities. And so think about it. You can live in the community and school is just literally right down the street and shopping's just right down the street and many times they're going to be connected by trails and that's the whole idea is to get people out and walk. I know guys it's hard to imagine this stuff right now but there's going to be a Mayfair town center planned here and that's going to be retail, restaurants, services and then on top of all that we're going to have apartments. That kind of reminds me of the place in Austin. Uh, let's see we've got the Pearl in San Antonio and the domain in Austin. Yeah, so that the domain. One. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point because that's the way the developers in New Braunfels are going right now. It's basically park and walk. Veramindi is going to be park and walk. Mayfair is going to be park and walk. And if you saw the video about the four major projects coming to New Braunfels, it's all built around that park and walk concept. They want you to get out of the car and walk. So you remember how we talked about Mayfair straddling both sides of 35 where there's eventually going to be an underpass that connects east and west Mayfair. So Mayfair is going to be what's called a water improvement district, meaning the developer has to create the infrastructure for water like Veramindi, things like water towers. And so the developer is responsible for all of that infrastructure build out before you can actually build things here like homes and shops and restaurants, etc. So if Mayfair is truly, truly like Veramindi where you're in a water improvement district, you're gonna be paying a little bit more for property taxes until all of that infrastructure, that water infrastructure is built out and paid for. And then your property taxes, you'll see a decrease there. So 15 year master plan community Mayfair guys, 6,000 residential units when it's all built out. What do you think of this place? Can you see yourself living here? Well, not right now, but when it gets built out, 750 homes are scheduled to be either completed or started on at this time next year. Or can you see yourself living elsewhere in New Braunfels? If 
yes to both of those, I'd love to be a real estate resource of choice. You guys know the drill. You can email me, you can call me, or you can shoot me a text. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you on the next one.